actually James Bond. I know. No, Luke, I actually am James Bond. We've just pulled into my lair in the Rolls Royce. Starry eyes. I've got the starry roof. Look at my other cars. I'm James Bond. And it was fun for a very long time, but I'm starting to get genuinely concerned. Have you heard of the story of the Sword of Damocles? Have you heard of that? Never. It's an old story. I think it's ancient Greek. It's very, very old. And it's a story about a king who did a lot of crazy things, a lot of brutal, horrible things to come to power. And once he came to power, he could no longer rule fairly or justly because he would look weak in the eyes of his enemies. So he continued to do unfair and unjust things. And the king, Damocles, was sitting on his throne and all around his throne, he had gold, he had beautiful women, he had fruits, he had everything a man could desire. And his servant of many, many decades, 30, 40 years said, I can't imagine how it would feel to sit in that throne. I've seen you in that throne for all of this time. And all I can imagine is the feeling of just sitting on that throne and people adoring you. I can't possibly imagine. <laughs> said the things I have done to get here the things I have done to take my place on this throne I mean it doesn't feel the way you would imagine it but tomorrow I'm gonna let you sit in the chair so the slave couldn't sleep the servant was awake all night imagining the days finally gonna sit in the throne and be able to grab fruit grab titties at random in this golden yeah. chair he couldn't possibly imagine how amazing it's gonna feel but Damocles wanted to replicate the feeling of power. Because what happens when you're powerful is that people want what you have. So Damocles hung a sword by a single horse's hair above the throne. And when the servant sat down for the first few seconds, he was a stag, he was happy until he looked up and he saw the sword. And he started to panic and feel uneasy because he realized that although you have all of the worldly goods around you, Still, there is the things you have done to get there. Do you understand? It haunts you from the past and it's hanging over your head. And at any moment, you can die. And the slave didn't want to be in the chair anymore. And he gave Damocles the throne back. That's the sort of Damocles. Now, I've been living that life for a while, but the difference between me and everyone else is, when I look up at the sword, I appreciate its beauty. I see the glimmer of the sword in the sunlight. I think, isn't that beautiful? Maybe one day it will fall. Probably look pretty beautiful as it falls just before I die. That's why I am where I am. That's why I've done the things nobody else can do. That's why I live the life nobody else can live. Oh, everyone sits to me and goes, oh, Andrew, I want your life. You couldn't do what I've done. I, I've told you all what I've done and you still won't do it. You can't do what I've done because you couldn't handle being me. The sword would frighten you. I've learned to fall in love with the sword. It's fine that's over my head. People have tried to kill me before. There are people in the world who are actively planning to kill me right now. That's fine. All I can do is prepare to make sure that I don't make it easy for them. So when I sit here with all my bitches around me and my beautiful cars in my castle and everyone's jealous of me, I want you to understand that you are inferior to me. Because of that, you could not possibly be where I am. I know you're thinking, how does this all tie back to James Bond? But this ties back to James Bond heavily because I actually... I am James Bond. When most people watch the Bond movie, what they do is they immerse themselves in fantasy and they watch it and then they go back to their four out of 10 wife and they read a book before checking into work tomorrow at 9 a.m. because if they're late, their boss will tell them off. They don't ever get to be the maverick. They don't ever get to break the rules. They don't ever get to be the guy who's so fucking good that despite the fact he does nothing the way he's supposed to do it, they simply need him. I am that guy. Most of these men out here are blundering through life with no skill set. Amateurs. Yeah, I can fight. Yes, I can fight. Yes, I can shoot. I've, I've shown it all. But it's not even about that. It's about the mentality that Bond has. Most men look at a girl and they want to fuck her because she's beautiful. I will state with conviction, besides James Bond and Andrew fucking Tate, we're the last two people on the planet who will look at a beautiful woman and think, I have to fuck her so that she tells me what I want to know. I have to fuck her so she obeys me. 
I don't give a shit about having sex with beautiful women. I fuck them so they listen to me. So I can get what I actually want, which is not them. It's a means to an end. Every single Bond girl was exploited. That's exactly what I do. When I watch a Bond film and I see him basically pimp a bitch, to me that speaks to my heart. I've been there. I've done that. Anyone who's followed me long enough knows that I first made my million dollars with a webcam business. I have met beautiful women with a good personality and thought she will make me money. I have to fuck this bitch. I don't want to have sex with her. I just need the money. Bond needs the fucking nuclear codes. Do you understand? I am James Bond. People have tried to kill me. I felt a blade. My skin has been penetrated by murderous steel. Men out here haven't. They watch a James Bond movie, eat their popcorn, go back to Starbucks, go back to their middle management. They've never been selling drugs to pay the rent and someone's tried to fucking kill them. Bond sleeps lightly. Watch the movie. You think that doesn't happen to me fucking three times a week? I wake up and grab the fucking knife next to my fucking table? That's my exact life. I am actually fucking James Bond head to toe. All the driving scenes you can see me do all over YouTube, all the shooting, all the professional fighting, outside of the realms of fantasy, the closest thing a human being can be within the constraints of the real world is me. I'm the closest possible thing to James Bond. And the reason I am upset is because these last few Bond movies have been telling me something. And what they've been telling me is that for men like me, time is running out.